Good morning and uh, welcome here this morning to, to Morning Prayer. I do apologise for uh, the lateness of this and I also apologise uh, if uh, the sound uh, or the vision doesn't kind of quite work uh, as it has been over the last few days. Um, uh, unfortunately, I've got to use my tablet again and I know that that sometimes can create some issues which I'm afraid are beyond my control. So uh, if you can't hear this quite so well, or if uh, if the sound um, is out of sync with my lips, I do apologise. I don't know why it happens, um, but my everything's on a go slow today, including me, but everything uh, is on a go slow in terms of I loaded my computer early, my laptop early, and it's just decided to freeze and all sorts of things going on. So I don't, I don't quite know. Uh, I'm not sufficiently tech-minded enough to, uh, to know what to do beyond switching it off and switching it back on again, which I've done. Uh, so um, I hope this finds you well on this fine morning. It says it's two degrees at the moment, according to my watch. Um, and it feels like two degrees as well when you're outside, but it is gorgeous and uh, likely to, to warm up, I'm sure, later. I hope uh, you have a good day today, on today, the 15th of April. Uh, just a reminder that uh, we will have morning prayer this week and um, um, everything as normal. We have services this Sunday at Stratton at half past nine. At Stanton at half past nine and uh, South Marston at 11 o'clock and our all together worship here at 10 o'clock on Facebook as well and of course you can watch a variety of different things especially at the moment on the Church of England website and via the Church of England media um, podcasts and apps etc you can probably watch and take part in a number of their services including services um, uh, around the, the funeral and uh, around the commemoration and remembrance of the Duke of Edinburgh. We're going to have just a moment of quiet as we recognise that we are in Almighty God's presence. We come together for this time of morning prayer Though we are apart, we uh, are together. Though we are many, we are one in the body of Christ. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, 
by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. I'm going to use Psalm 28 today, just checking to see which one was. Uh, sometimes they give you a choice, but uh, sometimes there's one in bold which, which they point you towards. And today is Psalm 28. The Lord is my strength and my shield. To you I call, O Lord, my rock. Be not deaf to my cry, lest, if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away from the wicked with the evildoers, who speak peaceably with their neighbours while malice is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their devices. Reward them according to the work of their hands and pay them their just deserts. They take no heed of the Lord's doings, nor of the works of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Hear us, shepherd of your people. Forgive us our sins. And in a world of pretenses, make us true in heart and mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you would like to read the um, Old Testament reading, it's from Deuteronomy, continuing Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 4, chapter, chapter, chapter 4, verses 1 to 14, sorry. Deuteronomy 4, verses 1 to 14. We're going to move on to our canticle, and I'm going to press number 32 today. Click, or whatever I'm going to do. And uh, we have a song of the new creation using verses from Isaiah 43. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that, that they might declare my praise. 
glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. We move on to our Gospel reading and we read John chapter 21 verses 1 to 14. John chapter 21 verses 1 to 14, excuse me. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana and Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, we will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of your boat, and you will find some. So they cast it. And now they were able, they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. The disciple that Jesus, that, that disciple whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the lake. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. When they had got ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fish on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and, and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, 153 of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. But, excuse me, Jesus came, took the bread and gave it to them. And he did the same with the fish. Now that this was the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. remarkable, another remarkable encounter. The disciples that were there seeing Jesus again in flesh and blood, cooking for them. They were able to break bread again. It's a little bit reminiscent of the um, feeding of the 5,000, I suppose, where uh, you know, significantly fewer people now and significantly more fish um, but Jesus breaks that bread and shares it among them and shares the fish uh, and was showing them this new life showing them this new hope showing them that uh, what he had overcome it's easy to see why they might be a bit bemused or why they might not think it's Jesus or might not recognise him. To be honest, at 100 yards, sometimes about, if it's 100 yards away, I might not recognise somebody. But it wasn't long before they did. And Simon Peter, after all he had been through, he just could not wait, could not wait go to meet Jesus. Another remarkable encounter. Just imagine it would be a morning like this. 
bright sunshine, able to encounter Jesus. Wonderful. As we read these, uh, these uh, accounts of resurrection, as we read these accounts of the apostles and the disciples and those following Jesus, women and men, who meet Jesus after he's risen from the dead, these responses resonate even greater. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Just bear with me a second as I find the bits I need to find, ready for our intercessions, which will, um, which will be in the form of our blessings again today. Uh, that was last week. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I was looking for. That's one thing. And that's the other thing. every Thursday. It's been our custom, certainly since I've been with you, and I know before that, something Vicky introduced, custom to speak blessings over our communities. This would uh, happen in church before, or in the centre. Now, um, I think it's taken on a new dimension, perhaps a greater dimension, as we spread out even further and we look beyond our parish boundaries, we look beyond our communities, we look to our neighbours in the broadest of sense. And we know that speaking out blessings across our world, across our communities, comes from the Bible, which tells us when we speak blessings over people, God responds. So claiming the promises, the wonderful promises of God's word, we pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our God, our Saviour. Heavenly Father, we take upon ourselves the authority Jesus delegated to us, and in his name, we speak to every household, 
across our communities. We bless you in the name of the Lord. We bless your relationships that they may be strong and whole. We bless the relationship between each partner that it may be safe, loving, forgiving, merciful and strong. We bless every intergenerational relationship within each household and within each bubble that there may be peace and love and understanding flowing between each one. And where there are folk in peril or danger this day, we pray that they might find safety and deliverance. In Jesus' name, we bless every network of wholesome and supportive friendship. We bless your health, that you may be strong and well. In Jesus' name, we resist any sickness or disease which seeks to invade these communities. And to every person we say, be well, be strong, be healthy. To any who are sick and struggling in body, mind or spirit this day, we say we bless you in Jesus' name for a speedy recovery. We lift them and their families before you this day, dear Lord. We name some out loud and we name some in our hearts. Anna, Trudy, Anna, Angela, Peg, Mark, Dennis, Christine, Addy, William, Pauline, Linda, Roy, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, Mary, Bex, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Leslie, Wendy, Jim, Joe and the family, Natalie, John, Janet, Arthur, Carol and Inca, Annette, Tony, John, Liz, Dave and the family, Daniel, Peter and Hazel, Jean, Shane, Joy, Tilly, Jan, Linda and her family, Chris, Oliver, E and D, Marcia, Claire and Vanessa, and we lift before you Lillian's family today. To those who are troubled, to those who are sick right now, we say we bless you in Jesus' name for speedy and full recovery. And we pray that you will feel God's blessings and God's peace. We bless those who are in the autumn of their lives and all those who live and work in residential care and those who work in domiciliary care. We pray for the housebound, that they may know the peace and presence of God in their hearts 
And in Jesus' name, we pray that they will have assurance and hope for the future. We speak blessings of patience, wisdom, love, health and love to all carers and associated staff. We bless the wealth of every person in our communities, that they may have plenty to replace poverty. We bless you to have enough to live and enough to give. We bless the work of your hands, that whatever you turn your hand to which is wholesome may be profitable. We bless every wholesome enterprise that is conducted by you it may prosper and be successful. In Jesus' name, we bless the businesses operating within our bounds, that they will flourish and employee-employer relationships will be wholesome, fair and full of integrity. We bless preschools, schools, universities, colleges, uh, nurseries, playgroups, childminders. We pray, Lord, that they may be secure and safe for staff and students and young people alike. We bless the young people's capacity to learn. We bless the young people's capacity to develop relationships at this trickiest of times. We pray for their health and their resilience. We hold all those young people whatever their age may be, on our hearts at this time. Pray for William and Addy, Joel and Tamitha, Grace and Emily, Lily, Jacob, Hannah and Jake, Oscar, Kerry, Anton, Callum, Phoebe, Ellie and Travis. Nathan, Ruby, Noah, Evie, Charlie, Jack and Mia. We lift them and all those who are on our hearts. To you this day, dear Father, and pray that they may feel your blessings and your presence in their lives. We bless all staff and governors at these places of learning and these places of care. And pray that they will know that they can trust and flourish if they put their faith in the Lord Jesus. We especially pray for Marie, Heather, Sarah, Matthew, Asher, Rebecca, Chris, Joshua, Sue, Susan, Gareth, Nick, Lisa and Noel. We lift them and all, again, all those who are on our hearts and known to us. All those that we may see in these places but uh, don't know. All those that work across these establishments, across our town and across our country. And we pray your blessing on all contact the church has with them, in Jesus' name. 
we bless the local doctors, nurses, district nurses, therapists, carers, pharmacists, or the staff of Sandoval Court, or those that work in our hospitals, doctor surgeries, test centres, vaccination hubs, or those that work in places such as Sandoval Court, or those that work in the community, or those that work in logistics, or those that work in laboratories, We pray for all in healthcare at this time as they minister to people that they will have protection, compassion, energy, wisdom, guidance, gentleness and an understanding for their patients. We pray for the emergency services as they operate within and across our bounds. We pray, pray that they will be blessed with safety, protection and wisdom. And we bless those working in the police, ambulance and fire stations across our town and indeed across our nation. We pray for government, national and local government for local parish councils and the local borough council. And we pray that they will be blessed as they serve their communities, that they may be guided as they seek the best for them, and they may look towards the future with wisdom, looking to implement policies of righteousness and justice for the good of all. And we pray and bless those who are working to supply all our daily needs. We pray for their protection and we give you thanks for them, dear Lord. And we speak to all the Christians in our communities and we say we bless you in the name of the Lord that the Holy Spirit and the word of God will flow out from you in power. We bless the hearts of all who live here, that you may be quickened to hear and respond to the voice of the living God. We bless all who live and work here, that the overspill of blessings and the presence of the kingdom of God may fall upon you. And the collect for today. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Unfortunately, I, I'm not able to access the, uh, the app that I have been over the last few days to, to play uh, just a short snippet of a tune because the app is on my iPad and I know that if I try to access that, 
um, there's no point because it will just stop the video. Um, but I do hope you have a wonderful day today and I do hope your hearts are singing in this sunshine. Um, for those cat lovers amongst you, uh, Pippa is enjoying basking, literally basking in the sun. It's not very warm, but she does find her, uh, her little space in the garden where, um, yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, she finds her space in the garden where she just lies. Um, and it's quite, I wouldn't say funny, but it's quite, she looks for it all the time. And even when the sun is kind of uh, starting to set or starting to rise, she can find the corner of the garden uh, or that just that little bit of the garden where it is. Uh, she's good at that. So that's where she is at the moment. I'm afraid we are all second place. She is worshipping God outside. Have a great day uh, and may God bless you and keep you. So may the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Help us to be a blessing to each other and our communities, that your ways may be known among us. Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Amen. 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 Thanks very much. See you soon.